Hey everybody, did you know you can go to colinmullen.com in order to get art and art prints? It's the thing I say every time. In fact, I say it's the thing I say every time, every time as well. I don't know how to differentiate the beginnings of these videos. colinmullen.com is where I put my art. You could go there. Do it. colinmullen.com. So hey everybody, I was originally going to be doing something more in line with what I did uh, for the last video, but I kind of just ran out of time and I realized that either I could call it finished when I didn't really like where like it was at and I couldn't reasonably get to where I wanted it to be in the amount of time I had or I could paint something a little bit simpler and make sure I had a video for you this week and uh, be happy with the results you know um, so that's what I did I ended up doing something a little bit easier than the uh, thing that I'm working on and I'll keep working on that and that'll be the next times video but it should be good. If you liked the last video's painting, you'll like it. Uh, but anyway, this piece is just sort of about like, um, I guess ADD and just that like all of the things that I needed to get done and I've got my list of things that I need to get done. And then at the end of the day, everything but the sink getting cleaned got done repetitively for like a long time. <laughs> And so it's sort of that feeling of, you know, despite everything, despite like how much I feel like I got done, somehow the sink's still not clean. And um, it's it's a dumb thing to be emotionally like uh, messed up over, but it was just like, why can I not get that done? Well, you know, the video needed to be done and the painting needed to be done and yada yada. And I don't know, I got over it eventually, but that's what this is about. I figure I should be more open about talking what my works are about to the best of my ability. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I also need to keep it brief so you can actually get to the meat of the video. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, I feel like a lot of people when they enter college, especially for art, they have to, they feel like they need to know exactly which path they're gonna take. That they're gonna either become a fine artist or they're gonna become a graphic designer or a cartoonist or um, you know, whatever. And a lot of the people who choose to do graphic design eventually switch over to doing fine art or vice versa. You know, the fine art people go, well, you know, I just really want to do something more practical. And the graphic design people are like, well, I, I just want to do work for me and I don't want to do work for some mega corporation or whatever. And both are valid reasons to switch. But a lot of people feel like that they failed in having done so. And that's not really the case. I feel like you should learn things just to learn them like for instance like they and they should become skill sets that you can just use at a whim like i i a lot of people say you know jack of all trades master of none and it's sort of disparaging the way they bring it up like you know oh well you know he's good at a handful of things but not a, i've never really understood how that statement can be bad like theoretically if you've gone to school for a bit as a graphic designer, you could use that skill set in whatever you're doing. And it's something that, like, if you're unsure of whether or not you want to become a violinist or not, or whatever, um, go for it. You know, as long as it's not going to screw you up financially or anything. Um, give it a go. Learn that. Learning that you hate it is something that's worth learning. And also, importantly, the skills that you learn there, you're probably gonna use later. Like, I don't consider myself really a musician. I've been in bands, I write the music for this channel, but you know, by knowing how to use the recording software that I do, I was able to make, you know, not only the music for this channel, but also, you know, some audio stuff for the town of nowhere and stuff like that. Being able to have that skill set just available to me helps me solve problems, you know? Um, if you only know how to do one thing, you're going to be stuck. And this is something they kind of teach you in art school as well, that, you know, companies are going to want to hire you based on what you can do. You shouldn't just be able to do one thing um, because I guess it's that challenging of a job market. I don't know. Um, but suffice to say, if there is something that you feel interested in, you have not wasted your time in learning it merely for the fact that you will probably use that skill set later for something else, probably not what you intended, probably not what you think you're gonna all the time, but some of the time you will. And it would be helpful to not only have that skill set, but the other thing that you thought you were gonna do and you learned how to do 
and then realized wasn't a thing that you were gonna do, just to be able to have that as a thing you can do. You know, if you want to be a musician, wouldn't it be cool if you could paint your own album covers? If you want to be an artist, wouldn't it be cool that you could, you know, write the music for the backing track for your YouTube video? If you if you want to be a YouTuber, wouldn't it be good to be able to, you know, do all of those things? That kind of mentality, I feel like, is really good just for the creative mind. And it allows you to look at things in a different light and allows you to know what the person you're going to commission to do XYZ is going through and how much time they need to do it and how much it's you know how difficult it is and all those things so that way you can pay them appropriately you know a lot of the artists that i commission for things that are outside of my wheel well um i pay a little bit more because i realize what skill sets it takes and i realize that they're undercharging um but anyway i digress um I guess before we get into the thank yous for this video, I do want to do a quick shout out. I've got another gallery show coming up. It's in the same location as last time, uh, which is the Texas State University in Round Rock, Texas. You can go there on the 28th. That's when I'm going to be showing up at night. I don't have the exact time yet, but it will be coming soon. Um, but just sort of if you're thinking about being in the Round Rock, Austin area, um, I will be there to uh, show off uh, Hermes and I love you but I'm not good with words and uh, why be happy today when there is always tomorrow that's the other one I've got going there anyway let's go ahead and thank the people on Patreon who helped make this thing happen thank you so much to the following people at the $5 or more tier if you want to join them uh, links down in the description it helps out the channel it allows me to keep doing this and uh, yeah Thank you. It really means a lot in ways that I can't really describe properly. But anyway, thank you to the following people. Thank you, Wapfu. Thank you, Top Houndor. Thank you, Theodore Corbier. Thank you, Spiral. Thank you, Spencer Kane. Thank you, Punkster. Thank you, Flanixia Theoran. Thank you, Ovoist Kirby. Thank you, Mortibus. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, Lost Nevada. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Thank you, Holgen. Thank you, Geizozan. Thank you, Chiptune Glitch. Thank you, Cappy Rose. Thank you, Bubba Fair. Thank you, Bep. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Amber. And thank you, Ants! That's so fun. Anyway, um, if I missed your name, this uh, recording is happening like a couple days before, or actually on the 31st. So um, I, I won't know if it, all that went through or if someone else jumped in. If I didn't credit you, I will uh, give an extra special shout out in the next video. I apologize for that. But anyway, if you had a good time, if you enjoyed this video, if you felt like it was helpful or if I felt like I said something that you needed to hear, um, go ahead and subscribe, all that jazz, the bell, the other things. All the stuff YouTubers tell you to do. Go ahead and do that, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go clean my sink now because I'm pretty sure it's dirty again. Okay, bye.